So you're going to an auction or an estate sale and you want to know a little bit about jars. Okay, well, first you should know what jars are not collectible. Stay away from any clear jars and any of the ball blue perfect mason jars. Most of the old jars that you're going to find are aqua shoulder seal jars. Look for patent dates on jars. The fairly common old Mason patent November 30th, 1858 jars are entry level collectibles. Buy what you like, buy what you can afford. One type of aqua jar that you may find is called a midget, midget Mason patent jar. These little pint jars are shaped like a quart and are worth about $40 and up and have a small lid size. Check out the lid for condition. About half the value of the midget jar is in its lid. Note that these lids have a metal lug soldered on their side. Some of the very old regular size zinc lids also have this metal lug and have patent dates and logos cut into them. Standard size old lids with lugs are worth about $15 and up, but the condition is important. Watch for amber jars. As a rule, amber jars are older jars and are very collectible. You may find an amber embossed lightning jar that would be worth about $40 and up, depending on color and shades of color. Remember that they say that color is king in jar collecting. Another type of amber jar you may find is embossed globe. Amber globe jars typically sell for $80 and up. Other amber jars with names like Leader and Safety and Dandy are sometimes found and should be recognized as worth $200 or more. Notice that the Globe, Leader and Dandy and many other jars have unusual closures. Jars with unusual closures are almost always collectible, regardless of color. When you're looking at jars, Watch for damage. Chips and cracks can reduce a jar's value by a lot. And one thing you need to watch for are reproduction versions of jars. Trying to figure out if a jar is a reproduction. Some things to watch for are colors that aren't quite right. Check the embossing detail and check the base for surface wear. An old jar has got base surface wear. Check the glass for excessive shininess. As a rule, old jars have a certain used look to them. There's a jar guidebook called the Red Book. And that Red Book has pricing for over 10,000 jars. The Red Book includes a section on reproduction jars. And on the internet, more information can be found on Facebook in their jar collecting groups. I hope this video has been helpful to you. See you next time.